Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner, speaking with former UFC lightweight champion Jens Pulver. Jens, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I haven't been to something like this, so it's it's pretty cool. You know, I mean, it was, again, we were just talking about it a minute ago, just how far this sport has come to something like this with the award shows, and to see this kind of thing is it's pretty impressive. I just sit back in awe, kind of shyly stand off to the side. I'm not very good with all this stuff, so it's pretty cool. What have you seen out of some of these newer prospects? You got some guys that are up like for Breakthrough Fighter of the Year, like a Conor McGregor and you know Nick Newell. What do you think about those two guys or just some of the ones that you've seen and the way that the sports evolved? No, I think the biggest thing was, again, when this thing first started, you know, Hoist Grace, the real pioneers, there was no weight class, there was no time limit. If you were ground, you had no stand-up. If you were stand-up, you had no ground. Then it started evolving. When I came in, the wrestlers started kind of at least dictating the pace. But now, now you have those kids. You're talking elementary school going, I'm going to be an MMA fighter, and they just go to town, and they, you know what I mean, they get after it. And so now you're starting to see those fighters that have been doing this 10, 15 years, and their styles are unmatchable. They're incredible. Speaking of which, someone you're very familiar with, BJ Penn, he's going to be coaching Tough 20 opposite uh, Frankie Edgar, and you coaching experience yeah. back at Tough 5, so what do you think about BJ still going and still pursuing the career? Well, you know, I think the first amazing thing was BJ used to complain about making 155, and now he's dropping to 145, so... I think he's finally got the dive figured out. He probably should have been there for a long time. And, you know, it's a good match between those two. It's going to be a lot of fun. And the fact that he's still in there. You know what? This is a different athlete. When you were 32 back in the day, I remember growing up, that is, you're, you're done. You're done as an athlete. Nowadays, you're seeing people with the nutrition, the diets, their healthy living. They can go longer. I mean, I'm 38 with no grays. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong with something. But, you know, it's just some people can still do it. And BJ, the one thing I've always loved about BJ is if he's motivated and he's angry, He's in a completely different fighter than if he's just kind of chilling, coming straight off the beach, dust some sand off, and it's like whatever. But this one, he gets, you know, really motivated. Number one, to make 145, that's going to make him mad. You know, I was going to say the P word, but that's going to really get him fired up. So, you know, having something like that, a mad BJ is a bad BJ. So we'll see what happens. And, again, you know, with Frankie Edgar, he's very skilled, dropping down to 45. Probably has a lot to prove because he was a 155-pound champ. Now you're assuming, hey, I'm fighting smaller guys. I should be able to beat him. So we'll see. Well, we thank you so much for your time, Jens. Have a great night.